Hello and welcome to the channel Let's Learn Electronics. We have covered a couple of topics from the syllabus of basic electronics and here is one more video in that. This is a clip from my last video in which I tried to explain the process of forward biasing along with the diodes characteristics curve. Uh, as we keep on increasing the applied voltage, you can see parallelly from on this side. The moment the applied voltage exceeds the cut-in voltage or knee voltage, the electrons start gathering here and as the knee voltage is uh, exceeded, the electrons start crossing over the junction. You can see how the junction area is narrowed and electrons get enough energy to jump and cross over the junction and this way they start flowing towards the anode and the current starts flowing. You can see here on the graph parallelly, there is a sharp rise, a significant increase in the flow of current, diode current. This process was explained in detail in my previous videos. If you want to check out, then go to the channel Let's Learn Electronics and please watch the previous videos for better understanding. Anyways, let's move ahead. In this video, I am trying to explain the mathematical equation which describes this physical property of diode, this graph. This is the graphical representation of this diode behavior, this physical property. Mathematically, if we want to define this behavior, mathematically, if we want to define how a diode current can be calculated, then we have a dedicated equation which is called Shockley's equation. This is Shockley's equation. I have also briefly mentioned about this equation in my previous videos. We can calculate drain current or we can simply say that drain current is related to the applied voltage in this way. Uh, drain current is equal to Is, the reverse saturation current. Uh, it is exponentially related E raised to the power Vd, the applied voltage Vd upon eta Vt. Eta is the ideality factor. It is a constant which depends on the physical construction of the diode. Uh, that means which what type of material is being used in preparing diode for example we are using germanium or silicon this vt the thermal voltage in volts it is uh, it can be calculated if we know kt by qk is boltzmann constant joule per kelvin t is the absolute temperature in kelvins 273 plus if we know the temperature then this constant value of vt can be calculated and q is the charge of electron magnitude of electronic charge this is the equation through which we can calculate the current id now let's expand this uh, shockley's equation this is simple maths let's open these brackets and multiply is with this exponential term and is with minus one and we'll observe that because being an exponential term if the value of vd over here is positive then the first term grows quickly and it dominates and that is why this second term can be neglected in case of a forward bias diode and in case of a re reverse bias diode, the Vd here is negative and so this first term becomes negligible and only Is is dominating. Let's understand this topic using a graphical representation. This is a graph. In case of forward bias diode, we have positive value of Vd over here. This Vd is positive. So this exponential term rises quickly and this is more significant. So Is over here minus Is is almost neglected and we see an exponential curve over here. We see an exponential relationship between Id and V when in case of a forward bias diode. This is an exponential curve. But when in case of a negative Vd, uh, the exponential term almost drops, it is negligible and the id is approximately equated to minus is this is the reverse the uh, bias diode curve because exponential term becomes negligible when minus vd is applied i hope now uh, you are well familiar with the shockley's equation and this is how an exponential curve is obtained in case of a diode 
Now, let me quickly uh, clarify one thing. Uh, there are students who are confused with two different equations. They said, ma'am, sometimes the Shockley's equation is mentioned as this, is uh, into e raised to the power k v d upon t k and sometimes it is mentioned like this v d upon n v t uh, so uh, what is the difference or why do we uh, why do they mention different uh, terms uh, there is a screenshot from uh, one book with different editions the earlier edition had this equation i s reverse saturation current k is equal to 11 uh, 1600 upon eta eta is the same constant tk is the same absolute temperature value uh, one equation is this and the latest addition has this is this equation is into vd upon nvt vd is the applied uh, forward bias voltage eta is the or n is the ideality factor Vt is the thermal voltage, the uh, Kt upon Q, the term which I mentioned in the earlier slide. So uh, students who especially who mug up, they get confused in these two equations. That why now this equation is being used. Don't get confused with this minute difference. Ultimately, the, uh, the equations are same. Let me explain how. These are the two equations. Okay. So Vt is equal to Kt by Q. Let's put all these values. K is equal to this thing, uh, 1.38 into it, uh, 10 raised to the minus 3. Q is equal to one more constant. Let's calculate this uh, term, 1 upon K over Q. Let's calculate this term, this term, okay? The moment we put all these values, use a scientific calculator if you have and calculate at your end and you will come to know that this term in the equation is approximately 11,600 and that is why it is round off over here and you will ultimately get the same thing, you will ultimately get, get the same result. So don't be confused whether some books are uh, mentioning this equation in this form or in this form they are ultimately the same thing and if we calculate vt using uh, the general value of room temperature which is 25 degrees c so for a room temperature value if we calculate vt how can we calculate we know the absolute value of temperature 273 plus 25 will be 298 kelvin this is the absolute room temperature in kelvins and we know the constant Boltzmann constant and the magnitude of electronic charge. So just put all these things in the equation and we will uh, we'll be able to calculate thermal voltage Vt is approximately equal to 26 millivolts. In many numericals you will be seeing this value Vt is equal to 26 millivolts. This video is just to tell you how this 26 millivolts is actually calculated and you may get two different uh, minutely different equations in, in various books or in different editions. Don't get confused with that. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, please click on like, share and subscribe and keep learning with Let's Learn Electronics.